Sup? So, so, we be going to the White House. Okay, White why House. Why are you, why are you like that? <laughs> Take, take a day off. Yo, take a day off. <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Lady Literacy. I made a video about a week and a half ago unboxing the Once Upon a Young Adult Book Club book box um, and shared with you guys that the book for the box um, was The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldovsky. And I had wanted to create a reading vlog of me reading this book. So I just recently went to Virginia and I ended up reading the, half of the book on the way to Virginia and then half of the book, the other half, on the way back from Virginia. So I finished this book um, and I have a lot of footage of me reading the book so I can put that in this video as well. Um, but one thing I didn't think about was how I didn't have the gifts that go along with the pages as I was reading the book. Like I didn't take the box of gifts with me on the plane. So I'm going to open all of the gifts that are supposed to go with this book um, right now after kind of showing you um, the footage of me reading it. So I guess let's go to that montage right now. Hi. Say hi. Oh, hi. Where are we going? Uh, oh, Virginia. Yeah, we're gonna go to Virginia. That's a new one. I told him he couldn't have any of my water, so no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think this through when I decided to come here and or take this book on this trip because I keep getting these open your gift and uh, I'm not home. I think this gift might be popcorn, um, but I don't know what the other two gifts are that I've gotten so far. documenting my life hey what's going on welcome back to part two day one of the wedding it's day like three of the wedding yeah oh, well i got here late so <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy some breakfast um we have a little boy over here and then you have him big boy chris mundo and your boy that's me <laughs> big boy um, yeah and your boy. so you know stay tuned we're gonna have a good time and uh, also my Venmo is at Alvaro if you want to, you know, chip in. I do have a Patreon, so, you know, <laughs> comment, like, and subscribe at the bottom. <laughs> documenting my life. Stop this guy. 
Yeah. OMG, 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 this is the Pentagon. Oh yeah, that does look like Can't it. you tell? That truck wasn't <laughs> even that far. Hi everybody, we're going to the White House. Hello. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not how I normally talk. Yeah, you want to restart that? We're going that? to the White House. You want to restart that? No, why don't I restart it? Okay. How would you like me to say it? I don't know. Sup? We be going to the White House. Okay, White House. Why are you, why are you like that? <laughs> All right. take, take a day off. No, take a day off. <laughs> also, after we eat, we're getting the scooters. Yeah, yeah. and we're riding around. <laughs> at the same spot that I left off at. So we'll see how much progress I make in my book on the plane. I might end up listening to a book instead. Just because I'm kind of sleepy. Worry book, most of the carry-on items work Hi. that way. And those are your larger ones. Smaller personal items can go to yeah. in front of you. And if you We're need assistance, back. let one of the crew members yes. know. We'll do our best. I'm gonna read my book. Time. What are you gonna do? Knock out. He's gonna knock out. If you're sitting on those exit rows, now's a good time. pleasantly surprised with the Mary Shelley Club. The last month's box had a book called Downworld and I DNF'd it. I did not finish it. I didn't like it. Um, and it was a really like boring experience for me. All of the gifts that I ended up getting I thought were really lame and just so not worth the 40 something dollars I spent on the box um, to get a, a book you don't really like and then to get some gifts that are just super lame. Like that was kind of disappointing. Like literally one of the gifts was a penny. I don't want to spend $40 for a penny. So anyway, I then canceled my subscription, but not before I was going to get this book box. So like I'd already been charged for another month. And so I was like, okay, well this will be good because I'll kind of give them one more chance. And then we'll see if, if I want to renew my subscription, but at least that I'm not gonna be charged another month in case I don't like this one. I went into this, not really sure um, you know, how my experience would be. It's always really fun to get the box, get the book. I think it's really fun to unbox any book box subscription, but I think the idea behind the Once Upon a Book Club subscription box is brilliant and super fun and creative. But again, last month the gifts were all really lame and the book wasn't very good, so. I kind of had mixed emotions looking through the, the gifts in the video that I made earlier and was really hoping that this book would end up being better. And it was. I actually gave the Mary Shelley Club four stars. At the top, um, it has a quote that says, a little bit scream, a little bit gossip girl. This book was a lot more like scream than I thought it would be, but it also isn't scream. So if you like Scream, don't worry. You could definitely pick this book up and it's not like you're gonna know everything that's gonna happen. I kept changing my mind as to like what I thought was really going on. And so that was good because I didn't really know what was happening. I don't wanna spoil anything. So I was very surprised. I definitely wanted to keep reading while I was reading it because I was like, who is up to all of this stuff? The Mary Shelley Club is a thriller book. Um, and it's about this girl right at the very, very, very beginning of the book. It's like a year prior to the rest of the story. This girl, Rachel, is at her house and these two masked men break into her house and she's home alone. 
and one of them runs out and then one of them attacks her and she ends up killing the guy that attacks her. A year later, she's a brand new student at this school and she ends up kind of getting forced to go to this party by her best friend, Sandra, and realizes that there's this prank being pulled at this party, scary prank, and she decides that she wants to, one, figure out who's pulling these pranks, um, but two, she kind of wants to get in on it. And she learns about the Mary Shelley Club, which is a group of students who pull off these like horror pranks. They don't call them pranks. To them, it's a game and they're competing against one another to see who can scare someone the most, like who can, who can create the best scare scenario, but really it's a prank. And so she kind of ends up making friends with these people and getting involved in these pranks. However, none of the pranks that she's pulling with her, with this group of friends, involve anyone in a mask. And yet multiple students have said that they've seen somebody in a mask when they had been pranked. And she's confused because she knows that they weren't supposed to be any masks involved in the pranks, but she was attacked by two men a year before in masks. And so she's like, either someone's messing with me or the other guy that broke into my house is like coming back to take revenge on me or something. So she ends up trying to figure out what's going on there. And that's the part that I really honestly was very surprised about. So it's a really good book. Um, it, I didn't give it five stars. I don't really know why. I just didn't think it deserved five stars, but I actually really enjoyed reading it. And so I'm really excited to see what some of these gifts are. While reading it, I actually had no idea what the gifts were gonna be. I do feel like one of them could be a bag of popcorn, but that's really it. I, I was kind of looking at the pages and I'm like, what's the gift gonna be? So this will be cool because last month when I was reading the book, I felt like I knew what the gift was gonna be, but I really don't. I kind of, I've, as I've read it, I've like moved the sticky notes. So I'm just gonna have to go through the gifts again to find what pages to look at. So this is 239, 18, 178, 67, and 401. If you don't want to have this book spoiled for you, then I would suggest you don't watch the rest of this video. Actually, that's not necessarily true, but I am going to read the page and then open the gift. So parts of the book might be spoiled for you, but I'm doing this so that way you guys can see how the gifts relate to the book. So the first gift is from page 18. So I'm just gonna kind of read over in my head what's going on on page 18 and then I'll open it. Okay, so on this page she kisses a boy and he has like a pine woodsy smell when she kisses him. So it's Mount Bachelor Pine Soap. Well, that's really cool. If I had been reading this with the gifts, it would have been exciting to open this because I'd have been like, oh, maybe that's what his hair smells like. So again, just kind of fun um, and something I can use. The next gift after that is this one on page 67. So let me see what's going on on page 67. Literally, page 67 is pretty short. I remember this part in the book, Rachel's like arguing with another student and ends up like grabbing a pair of scissors and like kind of out of blind rage, like just frustration and like frazzlement. So I'm wondering if then these are gonna be a pair of scissors. Let's see, it is. <laughs> so it's just like a little pair of scissors. Uh, this is kind of lame because honestly, what am I gonna use these scissors for? Like literally, what will I use them for? They kind of stick. I, I don't know what they'll be used for, but maybe they're a pair of scissors I could like carry around in my purse if like a piece of thread, if a piece of thread gets like, you know, pulled on, I can just snip it off. So anyway, again, very relevant to the book. So again, she grabbed a pair of scissors. They probably weren't scissors like these, um, but I have a pair of scissors. After that, we have page 178. That's this gift. Um, Kind of feels like soft. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay, this is the gift that I thought was gonna be popcorn. So this is a part in the book where like she and the other kids in the club are watching a movie and they're like playing bingo and she gets a bingo and so then like they throw popcorn at her. So it could be like a bingo game, but it also could be popcorn. So let's see here. 
It doesn't seem like either of those things. What is this? Is this a popcorn bowl? It says, beware for I am furious, or furious, <laughs> fearless and therefore powerful. And it's Mary, a, a quote from Mary Shelley. What on earth is this? I don't even know what this is. You would think that this would maybe like go, you know, like it would go on top of it, but it doesn't fit. What, what is this? Is this supposed to go on top of the popcorn? It won't sit on top. It doesn't have the same diameter. I'm disappointed with the gifts again. Like again, what a cool idea, but what? I honestly would have rather had the popcorn than this. I don't understand. And the problem is that they don't include like directions on how to use the items. So, I mean, maybe it's supposed to be like that and I put like the kernels in it and then it will pop in the microwave and it will slowly kind of push this up, but this prevents the popcorn from like popping out. <gasps> All right, sorry, I'm like talking out of my butt here. It says, simply fill the silicone bowl with up to one third a cup of unpopped popcorn kernels, cover with the lid and microwave for two to four minutes or until kernels are no longer popping. Okay, so my guess was correct. Okay, that's a little better. Like now that I have the directions that I know that my guess is correct, I'm like less negative about the gift. We have two more gifts, one on from 239 and then one from page 401. So let's go to page 239. Oh yeah. In this scene, um, like one of the characters is using a film projector and I remember reading this and thinking, I mean, they're not gonna give me a film projector. So I don't, I have no idea what this is. Let's see. This is the most like present like one of the kit. Oh, that's actually, that is cool. That is cool. So it's a smartphone projector. So it looks like you put your smartphone in it and it should like project what you're watching onto a wall. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. This, this box is making up for last month's box. Like Last month's box was lame. And it, this whole box like does give you directions on how to use the like film projector. So I'll have to try it out. But they like give you a little lens in there and um, you're supposed to insert that into like this hole. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'll have to try that out with my boyfriend later. And then we have one more gift and it's from page 401. Honestly, it just feels like a keychain. Um, and I actually feel like I might know what part this is. Like she ends up giving one of the characters a lanyard. Oh yeah, it's a, her favorite keychain, and it's a red key fob for room 237 at the Overlook Hotel. So I thought, I guess when I read it, I thought it was a lanyard, but yeah, she gave him a keychain, which I think it's like a, it's like a room key from the Shining Hotel. So it's this here. Oh, sorry, I'm having, I'm struggling. So again, that's pretty related to the book. Oh yeah, it is the hotel from The Shining because it's in Colorado. Huh, well, this has been a better experience than last month's for sure. The book was already a lot better than Downworld was. Um, and then the gifts were better. It's not like I really care about this keychain. Um, and at first I was kind of annoyed about this, as you saw, but actually I feel a lot better about it knowing how to use it now that this isn't supposed to cover it necessarily. I mean, maybe it is, but it won't. So I would have to just put it inside like that and it can just pop up like that. So that's actually a pretty unique gift. And then the film projector box, it's a super unique gift. So it, it'll, I'll have to, you know, kind of check out how to use this. It says, check and see if your phone fits. I'm using my phone to record this, uh, but it looks like my phone will fit. Anyway, this is also a really unique gift. So are they cheap? Yeah. Um, are they random? Yeah, but they're also really related to the book. And that was one thing that I thought was super cool about this book subscription box. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did end up, after finishing this book, 
I ended up renewing my subscription again because right now it's about 50 50. I've had a good experience and I've had a bad experience. We'll see how that one goes. I may or may not get the June box. I'm really not sure. Because I subscribed, I should get the July box, I think. To recap the gifts that I got, I got this film projector, the popcorn microwave popper bowl thing, a keychain, a pair of scissors that I don't really care about. They're just in this box. And then some soap. Much better experience than last month's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it is kind of like random things um, that are, they're not like explicitly bookish items. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for in a book box. But yeah, I had a really good experience. If you're interested in like high school thriller novels, you should check out the Mary Shelley Club. I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos if you're looking for other book recommendations. And I hope you guys find something that you want to read soon. I will see you guys next time. Bye.